Hi, this presentation will be carried out by Jason, Madison, Jessica, and David. We will focus on suggesting a solution to the many problems associated with nuclear semiotics. Nuclear semiotics involves the passing of messages to future generations on the hazardous nature of waste materials stored at a location. Our group will describe, evaluate, and attempt to solve this problem in this presentation. In the United States, nuclear waste is stored in part at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plan. The current expected final cost will be in excess of $19 billion, storing 122 cubic meters of waste. This waste must be secure for between 10,000 to 50,000 years for the safety of humans. This far exceeds the time we have previously had written language, begging the question, how do we communicate with future generations the presence of this waste? We set out to find a solution. For our proposal, instead of a traditional fortification and monolith communication method, we suggest developing an artificial forest. Since the waste isolation pilot plant is based in the desert, we will use various cacti and associated animals accommodating for known environmental changes over time. Within this forest, we will set up a larger ionizing radiation source on an elevator. This elevator will be self-powered and isolated from the environment when in standby. It will raise once a year based off an internal cesium powered clock. It will irradiate and mutate surrounding plants and wildlife over the decades. The elevator will also tell time, incorporating a counting mechanism and clock. Over time, the surrounding landscape will be heavily modified through mutation and death to communicate to future generations the dangers and also interesting qualities of such waste as it will be significantly different from the local environment. Leverage points. Money, education, the future. Education. The school staff affects the population and the future cities and people by educating them about what is happening in their town with the WIPP. If the younger generation is taught about the WIPP at a young age, when they are older, they will know the signs of the power plant. They will be able to help inform the other people who are not educated about it. But if they are not taught, or if they are poorly taught about the WIPP, they will not properly know about it and will not benefit the people of the future. Money. Politicians fund the construction and maintenance workers who work and take care of the WIPP. The school staff are also funded to educate the people of the community and the people of the future about the WIPP. The lack of funding and poor review of proposed past concepts have yielded conventional solutions which may be less than ideal for the purpose of communicating a long-term message. The future. This leverage point focuses on the idea that in the future, due to time, the original goal of this plan will be different. In other words, because of time and the fact that the kind of solution we'll be implementing is focused on a current goal, things could be changed. The goal of this plan can be easily changed due to changing culture and language. The stakeholders are politicians in D.C., real estate agents, local communities, school staff, WIPP workers, and outside entities. Politicians give regulations concerning operations and criteria for storage and design, apply policies to the people who live in surrounding towns and the people who will live there in the future. Also, they give funds to the construction and maintenance workers at the waste isolation pilot plant. Being educated on various factors surrounding the issue, teachers will be equipped within the necessary information needed to educate future generations on the nuclear sites. This will allow for the human population to be saved from possible disasters in the future. Real estate agents try to sell the houses in the towns surrounding the plant to the people who will move there in the future. Local communities take time to review plants and monitor activities like tourism and agriculture. One potential downfall that can occur with the solution is the harmful mutations that can happen among the plants over time. After a long period of time, for example, 5,000 generations of prolonged exposure towards these plants, dangerous mutations that can be harmful towards human civilization could occur. Another potential downfall is the unpredictability of the world's climate in the future. Drastic changes in the weather and climate generations into the future can heavily impact how the plants in this artificial forest will perform. Finally, one last potential downfall is the inability for humans in the future to comprehend the plant's warning signals. 
Just like the present, our worries are still on the possibility that people of the future could still misunderstand the purpose of this artificial forest. In conclusion, we hope that our intent to communicate with future generations without direct or specific language will successfully portray the presence and effects of radiation. Hopefully, this will ensure that people of the future will make the correct decisions on how to deal with the waste isolation pilot plant and similar structures that could be made.